Could you tell they were Canadian, Brian? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, eh? <laughs> it's a nice night out, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about, Kyle. Definitely not from that uh, Ontario area at all. <laughs> Why, Kyle? We've talked about this before. Everybody tells me that Canadians don't actually talk that way, but every single movie <laughs> yes. we've ever done with Canadians, they all sound the same. I don't Can't understand you, it. I don't understand it. It doesn't matter, Beth. Your boy drove my little girl to kill herself. Oh, for God's sake, listen to me. Canadians don't have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a very specific like that's like our they're like the the ones we get in movies are only like it's like their version of like the south at like dialect like a southern so. dialect and it's like so maybe it's a small region but they just make all the movies or something or you don't well, notice they're it all when from they're, like Saskatoon or something Saskatoon, like that Saskatoon eh <laughs> now what are you doing here huh <laughs> just just like uh, lions, babe you leave my little girl alone <laughs> I don't know if that sounded remotely Canadian, but I'll take your word for it. Right. Uh, I'm not wearing enough denim, I guess. Nobody, nobody hurts my little angel and gets away with it. You know, you're definitely not wearing enough <laughs> denim for that accent. Hello, and welcome back to Good Bad or Bad, Bad Show. We watch terrible movies and tell you you should too. I'm your host, Mr. Ron Shilligo. Joined, as always, the other host, Mr. Kyle Hinton. Kyle. We're getting studio is getting in the mood yes. for Halloween. This is not our Halloween episode. This one comes out a this couple weeks ahead of time. Is the build up? This is the build up. So we're not in our Halloween costumes just yet. Get ready for that in two weeks. But we do have a spooky movie for October. We're talking about 2000. I actually don't know. 1996, 1996 is which is shocking considering how much CGI they use. Yes, we'll time. talk. Oh, I have so much to say uh, about the CGI. Psycho Scarecrow. I found this Psycho one on IMDb. Scarecrow. <laughs> ah! Oh, so Psycho Scarecrow. Um, I'd never heard of this film. Uh, for for a fairly good reason. We'll talk about it's pretty forgettable but yes. <laughs> to be fair um but so this movie uh 1996 um it very much just you, you without i mean we'll go through it but it's very much a generic yes like slasher halloween movie <laughs> What makes it unique is its use of very early CGI. Very graphics. early CGI. That is the standout thing is that whoever made this movie decided that they wanted most of the movie, like 70, not 70%, sorry, more like 30% of the movie <laughs> to look like a late 90s, early 2000s video game cutscene, yes, Kyle. Exactly. It looked like it's like, like PS1 graphics. Yes. Yeah, PS1 cutscenes. Literally scenes. looks like they rendered this on a PS1. It looks like a <laughs> Resident Evil video game. It's wild. Um, and that's the first thing we get. It hits you right in the face. When the movie starts, we open up after the production credits, we get an opening credit sequence that is a big, long fly-through of this CG landscape. And I... That reminded just, me very much, actually, of the Halloween open I put it on last week, yes, last year's yes. Halloween episode, where the camera kind of flies around to, like, mm. different shit. It's very similar to that. But, you know, 25-year difference in technology. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, that, that Halloween open took me 10 minutes to make. I, I bought the, pre the, the fucking asset, and I dropped all the clips of us in, and then bing, bang, boom, done. Uh, so this... I guess we can get into uh, the director real quick. So yeah. Stephen Geller, I think his name is. I don't know. Stephen I didn't Geller? do. I didn't well, do that. Anyway, looking. I think you're he, right. Something like that. He he has like two IMDb credits, but like his main thing was special effects, and it feels like it was a bunch of special effects people who were like, you know, we could make a movie and just do all the special effects for it. And I like yeah. And, and we, we don't we don't necessarily need like explosions and stuff no. like that or practical effects at all. We can just kind of like do that with the computers yeah we we can just do ever steve galler has three credits on imdb <laughs> and two of them are psycho scarecrow yes. so i don't know what how much of a, an effects background he actually had but um yeah so it's uh all C, almost all cg anytime that's not just people standing and talking mm -hmm. it's completely CG like the all the environment everything although they also use it to 
add to scenes here and there. Also, the quality of the YouTube rip we watched is not great, so you lose a little. It's hard to yeah. tell at times what scene is. But it's also a 25 year old movie. True. <laughs> But um, the uh, but there are also times where like they they'll have actual footage and then they'll like put in some very early versions of like CG fog or or <laughs> yes. you know like like a cornfield in the foreground well, of the there's shot like that's even, like CG. There's even certain points where they're in this cornfield where it's they'll go from a CG cut like like a C, them in front of a green screen yeah. clearly. Uh, with uh, with the, the smoke and all that, yeah, and then they'll cut, and then they're actually in a cornfield. Yeah. It's like what what is with your production? <laughs> it's so wild. There's a whole moment at the end that's all CG that feels like it would have been very easy to just film. We'll talk yes. about it. I mean, I guess not very easy, but there are elements of it that would have been very easy. We'll get there. Um, and you know, as far as 3D cutscenes from late '90s video games go, Kyle, this isn't the worst one no, I've ever no, seen. No, it feels a little bit like Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> It's not the worst quality I've ever seen. Um, oh, God. And then, so we, we after the opening credit sequence, which, again, is just, like, sort of a generic, like, fly-through of this scene. And there's, like, a, at one point, like, a, a, a giant guy comes, like, a, I guess it's a scarecrow, comes out of, like, a garage and is, like, and it's yes. so stupid. It's, um, but then we fly into this we're, man we're digging the, through the uh, trash. We're, we're in the city now. Like, yes. All that was in the, out, in the, the, out in the country. country. Yeah. Now we're in the city. And this guy's digging through trash. And, of course, of all the things you find in the trash, Brian, uh, completely in clean and intact mirror? mirror. A giant mirror. Be not like a little mirror. Like a fucking bathroom mirror. An entire the intact bathroom mirror. The guy proceeds to pull out a baggie of, <laughs> of cocaine. I love the idea that he was looking through the trash for something <laughs> to do his cocaine on. And he just happened to find a full-size bathroom mirror. Now, I'm not saying, I'm assuming this is Toronto. I'm not saying that's not the place to find cocaine. Wink. <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference to. I'll, I'll throw something in. Okay. Uh, but, you know, at, at least when you when Oh, you the find mayor it, that died? <laughs> That guy. Rest That's in right. peace, Rob Ford. Yeah. Uh, but, you, you know, if, if you're going to find a place that's clean enough to do cocaine, it's probably Toronto. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, yeah, but he, so he gets, he gets his full-size bathroom mirror and is going to start doing cocaine on it. But then... At that moment, he gets interrupted by a woman <laughs> plunging Flying, from yeah, the... Fly, and it, this graphic of her... It's all CG. insane! <laughs> The camera tilts up and we see this body shoot out of the side of a mm -hmm. building and then we follow it all the way down as she screams and plummets to the ground and I there, already... There, there was something whenever she shifted out and started falling yeah. where you're like, oh god, the Nola... Like, if we did this in After Effects, you can see the shifting... They did not do this in After Effects, no, so Kyle, it it's all like, time. yeah, it's, and, well, and it's all... Well, After Effects existed, it but okay. I'm pretty sure After Effects existed by 96. But, but like, a lot of that but stuff... But this like, is all like 3D modeled like rent yes. like yeah it, it is not made in after effects this was built in something much more robust for like actual like yeah Linux. <laughs> just you're just why, really trying to why try piss off all the computer people <laughs> today aren't you just saying words out here just saying it's Linux. words it's Linux. <laughs> yes they made that cg cutscene, kyle in linux no well i mean like, you know <laughs> what? what do you mean then <laughs> And, and we're back. <laughs> we just settled a disagreement off camera. You're all welcome for <laughs> difficulties <laughs> for having for not being privy to that. Uh, but I really was here for how much this movie decided just to fucking go for it from point one. It's just there, like balls to the wall. Are a lot of parts that, considering the time, are very like technically like very early on worked in a way. It worked better than No Contest for sure. I, I mean that's a random comparison, but yeah, well, sure. You don't remember that scene from No Contest? Oh, with the they, body, yeah. Well, yeah. no, but isn't that actually a dummy in that one? Like, don't no, we no, see no, a they, dummy? Well, they, they gave they get, gave um, Andrew Dice Clay a, a fake background. They stuck him in front of a. <laughs> Oh, 
that part at the end. I thought you were talking about when there's at one point where a woman like falls off, and I thought no. that was a dummy. Yeah, that was, a, that yeah, was yeah, a dummy. like a flaming dummy. <laughs> She's on fire. Isn't she on fire? God, now I gotta dig out. <laughs> yeah. Good luck finding that clip, Kyle. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I just appreciate, like, that they were like, you know what, fuck it, we're mm. not scaling back any of our ideas, nope. we're having a woman plunge out of the 30th story of this building, we're just gonna <laughs> do it all in terrible late 90s CG, it's fantastic, it's amazing, um, the helicopters are CG, even the parts of the car, certain cars are yep, CG. Some of the cars aren't. are, yeah, some cars are there and some aren't. Uh, and I love when we push up the building after we're introduced to the first uh, detective on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. He's kind of looking around. Oh, you mean around. Judge Reinhold? Is that, that's not who it, look, yeah, it looks it does, a bit he, like him. It does look like that, yeah, a little bit. Um, but then we push up. I love we get this push up the building to the, the where she jumped yeah, from. There's and then the there's a little one. CG composited detective <laughs> in this entirely he just, he 3D model so building. <laughs> like poorly uh, green screened into the fucking balcony it's amazing um and we're at seven minutes in and there's been zero lines zero audible lines of dialogue mm. so far we get our first audible line of dialogue at seven minutes and 45 seconds because there is one down on the ground floor when the detective shows up but it's just like <laughs> and there's like background noise you can't hear anything um but I love the, the these two cops' like banter and back and forth and how quickly they escalate from zero to a hundred yes. of just like, well, another night in the city. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't take this job anymore. It's chewing up women and spitting them out. This awful evil city. Like they go from like they have this he, he, they like start it's like a normal case Kyle and then it turns into this weird like they 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 they, they, they devolve into this weird like overly dramatic like conversation about like the degeneracy of the city and like it's this weird thing that I was not expecting. Wow, that was a very awkward Toronto tourism video. <laughs> It's so weird. But yeah, it's, it's zero to a hundred. Like yeah. Nick Cage level. Dude, you'll drive yourself over the edge doing that. Pretty soon you're going to be the one splashing his brains all over Look the side. Look at that girl who deserves the benefit of the doubt. Relax, Jones. She'll get her chance. Now will you sit down and shut up? Yes, the dialogue is so hilarious. It's so like hard boiled and over the top. And the white, the, the guy in the white shirt, um, the who's the like... The detective who was up on the balcony, the, the more cynical, the one. Cyn more cynical one, who who just is like, nah, it's a suicide. We're done. Write it off. And the other mm -hmm. guy's like, no, there's more going on here. Um, that guy's performance is so amazing. He's so over the top, and he's like, pretty soon you're gonna be the one splashing your brains all over the sidewalk. He's like, hold them over the railing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's later on. He, oh, like, they like, I think that's later on. I think it's part of the close. Is it in the one. open? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was yeah. later. But anyways, there's there is one point where he literally. He's like, I'm gonna fucking murder you. It's Jeez. so weird. It's so weird. Oh, give the fucking police work. That's you, eh? Nothing. Weird. I, I like the, uh, the, the guy. I guess it'd be the the uh, more. The greener one, yeah, I like the, the one who's one. still who hasn't had all of his hope beaten out of him. By yeah, this, he, but he yeah. comes in there and he's like, "Oh man, it really sucks. Pretty broad too. Oh, I got brain matter all over my shoes." That's a real fallen angel. Oh shit, I've got brains all over my fucking shoes. God damn it! It's like she, okay, so that he's like vain in certain ways. Um, but then we flash back. Yeah, they find a tape they recorder. They find a tape recorder, and that's like, this is like the frame story for the actual movie, mm. is these guys going through this tape recorder that this woman who jumped off who jumped off the uh, balcony um, had recorded detailing a trip her and her friends took out to the country a week ago or whatever. Mm. And so they start playing this tape, and when they start playing the tape, we flash back to, uh, you know, a week ago or whatever. And they're cruising down the street in their convertible, and the guy is so cool, the main guy. I don't <laughs> he's wearing this tank top and he's got these the little flip, flip, the flip shades. <laughs> yes. He's the coolest fucking guy that ever oh existed. I love it so much. Um, oh, and he has a guitar because <laughs> of fucking Jeez. course he has a guitar. This guy, he's, so he's the worst. <laughs> he's the Jesus. fucking worst. Nobody likes that guy. Fool this man. 
Uh, but uh, so they're, they're like, okay, we got to get to our, we're, we're heading out to like a cabin to camp for the weekend and, you know, mm. and to drink and, and party. Um, but their car breaks down. Mm. And then so they're like, but luckily we're close. We'll just the, their walk car the rest breaks of the down ride. and the battery dies. I think so that's why. Like, yeah, for some reason, yeah. Well, something happens, the car stops running, but then yeah, later yeah. we figure out that they just need a new battery, supposedly, to be able to get it, and whatever. Um, so he, uh, but yeah, you're, if you're driving already, oh, not even, I'm not even, gonna, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to talk about cars <laughs> and what they may or may not do. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. Batteries just needed to start the engine. It's only turn. That's what I thought, yeah. Kyle. I was like, if they're already driving, the battery dying wouldn't be an issue, but I didn't want to say that because I don't know anything about cars. Um... But so they're like, well, luckily we can walk. So they're like, we just got to cut through this cornfield. And so they like hop a fence and they're like cutting through this cornfield. Mm. And the music playing is like weird carnival music. <laughs> yeah. None of the music in this movie ever tonally fits no. what is going on at all. There's so many times where the music makes no uh, sense. It didn't seem like such a big deal at the time. But there was something spooky about it. Because the voiceover is like, oh, and then we walked through this creepy cornfield and the wind blew and we don't know where the, w it was dead silent and the wind came and it was like, it was a warning and the music's like, it's like, what is happening? <laughs> uh, so quick rundown of our characters because there's only yes, five of them. They're yes. all like insanely one dimensional. Yeah. Uh, Sheila is our narrator. I'm glad you remember the names because I remember <laughs> nobody's names. Uh, we have... Floyd, who knows about this place, I yeah. guess that claims it's like a relative. Or a, or I think it's like his uncles, or yeah, somehow yeah. related to the people who. Uh, own we them. have Eric, who's the douchebag with the guitar yes, and with the, the flip glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Karn is his. That's Karn. Weird his name. name is Karn. Her, her weird name, the redhead. Oh, her name is Karn. Karn. I missed that one. Sure. Fair okay. Enough. Like Karn Bloodhoof, she's like a Torin chieftain. <laughs> and, then, and then the random fifth dude who had his name is Spider. Yes, yeah, I think I that's how, that's how you a, know this dude's instantly gonna die because his name he doesn't even have a name. It's a, it's yeah, just it's spider. just a nickname, it's just Spider. Um, oh, yeah. he's an alcoholic. Hey, listen to me, you, you don't drink know too me. Much. Come on. Yeah, 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 and also subtly, like they're like, "Oh, you need to get your drink." It's funny thing is, like they say, like you need to get your drinking under control. But he seems to have drunk the same amount as everybody else. There. <laughs> yeah. They're all just sitting around drinking beers around a campfire. Uh, but no, apparently he's the one with the problem. Um, Back off me, you got no idea what my problems are. Huh? I don't Never. need no lectures. Now get the hell out before I throw you out. <laughs> and then I love too when they get to the house, they finally do get through the cornfield and we see a scarecrow, which is important for later. Mm -hmm. But then they get to the house and as they're going in, Eric, is that his name? The flip glasses yeah. cool guy. He like, as they're going in, he like looks around ominously and then goes in like he's planning something, but he's not planning no. anything, and he's not a villain. Well, he turns out to be like Just a, a bad dude, yeah, yeah, like a douchebag. But he's not like he's not like plotting to murder them or anything. Well, but the movie yet. sets. Well, he's really not. It's no. just like a weird. We'll talk about what happens there momentarily. Um, mm. Then we cut back momentarily. We just have to cut back to the crime scene because I have to talk about this weird like. I, I, maybe this is oh, a the joke magazine? on purpose. Oh, oh well, there's the magazine. Yeah. yeah. But I wasn't even talking about that. I was gonna talk about the fact that I love. So the one cop is. Um, oh, I'm a little loud. I'm gonna turn my. Hold on. We're, we're experts. We're professionals. Oh, why is that up so loud? Holy Whoa. shit. That should not have been we on 70. We were outside last when we recorded these? These are way too loud. Yeah, maybe that's oh, it. Oh, no. It's probably clipped a little bit. Hopefully, I'm going to fix it, the, or we're going to pull it down here. So. All right, we should cool. be good now. I'm going to have to, where are we at? 18 minutes. I'm going to have oh, to God. cut it there and do those, render yeah. those audios Thank separately. You. That's fine. It shouldn't take too long. Um, anyway, so we get to the cops. <laughs> Cat. Uh, we get to the cops back. We cut back to the cops in the crime scene. And I love, so there, the, the detail that I, that I found very hilarious is that the one cop is, he's like, call into the office and have them run something or I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like a background check. Or, or he's something. taking the handkerchief. He down. uses a handkerchief yeah, to pull, pick want, up the phone. Prints all over the place. But then he just dials with his oh. finger, <laughs> yeah. and then the other cop is literally just pawing through everything, yep. <laughs> just yep. grabbing yep. everything. You know what I found really fucking weird? Whenever he, whenever the the clean, whenever the green cops coming up there, like he's it, first off the elevator is like freaking bizarre. Yeah, high rise. Yeah, it's like it's it's like a uh, staff elevator or something like yeah. that. Or, but anyways, he gets off. This cop is cleaning his gun. <laughs> I'm like, is he? Yeah, yeah. This cop is like cleaning his gun of like prints and stuff. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Absolutely murdered somebody. 
absolutely murdered somebody. Uh, uh, then we cut back to them camping, and we get uh, the, is there at the oh, is this the, the guitar? Yeah, he starts playing guitar, and we Such listen to him bag. play an entire fucking song. This guy clearly had like a budding music career, and he's like, "Please let me play my entire song." And they're like, "Fine, whatever." Wishing that I could be with you tonight in the night. I guess we'll just watch you sing this entire song. And also, I love Spider the Fifth Wheel. Or no, Floyd's the Fifth Wheel? Or Spider's, spiders the, fifth the Fifth Wheel. wheel. Just hanging out in the back, just mad at everything. He's just, like, sitting back there drinking, like, ugh, this sucks. Yep. Um, but, so then our, uh, and this is where it became, it was already apparent that this is very Canadian, but one of them at this point in the campfire is like, it's a nice night out, eh? <laughs> eh? A nice night out, eh? <laughs> it's like, oh, God. <sighs> it's a nice night out, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but so uh, Eric and one of the girls, she- Sheila or whatever, mm. what's her name? Is it Sheila? Karn? No, the mm. one who died, who jumped off the. Oh yeah, Sheila. Sheila. Okay, they go off to Canoodle well, in no, the woods. Karn. Karn. Karn's the one he. he Is it? With. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, because well, uh, whatever. I don't. Anyway, doesn't matter. It, does, it doesn't yeah. matter. The Two point of- is, they go out for some fun, for, for some canoodling in the woods. And meanwhile, Floyd follows him with his fucking uh, Polaroid, Polaroid camera. camera and just starts taking pictures of with them. With a flash. With the flash. I, and I was cracked up because he had the flash down and then he opens the flash and I'm like, you fucking idiot. Um, but he... Uh, the, and they, the guy freaks out and like starts beating him up. Yeah, like he's like you fucker, and he like he just rolls down a hill. And then yeah, yeah. he just like disappears. He like falls in down a hill into the distance, and they're like, well, I guess nah, whatever. He's he's fine. Like Eric's like he's just fucking with us. He's fine. He's okay. He's fucking scared. That's all. Right. Ass wipe. And they're like, all right, let's get out of here, and they leave. Um. And then, but then they're like, all right, we got to look for Floyd. They get back and they're like, where's Floyd? And they're like, he, uh, he fell down a hill. He's just messing with us. They're like, we got to go find him. They go to find him. And I do like Spider's commitment when it comes to the search party. Uh, people have flashlights. He He's just a like, road, road flare. <laughs> it's like, why does he have a road flare? Good for him. He's just like, <laughs> we got to find him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so they're searching around again. The music here does not match tonally mm. with this this scene at all. The music was cracking me up. The last time I saw him, he ran down there. Um, but so they stumble across <laughs> Floyd, and he's <laughs> fucking D E D dead. He's dead, man. He's fucking dead. <laughs> the spider goes full uh, Bill Paxton, Bill Paxton and and aliens. aliens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's fucking dead, man. What are we gonna do? Boy, dead. <laughs> fucking game over, man. Um, yeah, he freaks out and he's like, he's dead. Uh, and they all start kind of freaking out. Um, and they're like, well, what do we do? And this is we get our classic, you know, '90s uh, teen horror movie. We gotta, cu- we can't. I'm not going down for this. I'm not gonna burn because of him. Eric, this just doesn't seem right. Forget right. Right doesn't count out here. We he even says, up. I, I, I have a record. It's like, yeah. Man, you're just a class act. He dude. is a class act. He- Are you kidding? I have a record card. No one is going to listen to me. Look, he's dead, all right? Nothing's going to change that. Yeah, I could have told you from the moment one when I saw that guy's <laughs> flip glasses that that guy had a fucking criminal record. <laughs> they don't let you buy glasses like that unless you got a couple felonies on your fucking background, Kyle. Only the hardest of the hardcore badasses have flip sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, but um, I've got a record in Canada. What, you run a red light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're going to keep it a secret. Um, they're going to keep this a secret. And so they have this brilliant fucking plan turn they him into, into a, a scarecrow. scarecrow. <laughs> they, they go to the scarecrow, take it all, stuffing them. They put him in the overalls and stuff. Yeah. And then they, they like put him up on the thing, yeah, on the stake. It, and they're like, well, his head's still exposed. Yeah, <laughs> we got to do need, something. We, so they're like, hey. We passed some pumpkins before. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, see if you can go find one big enough for him, all right? Oh, man. Just do it, all right? We ran across some pumpkins. Let's find one big enough for his head. And they find a just a cylinder-shaped <laughs> pumpkin. a perfectly up-and-down tube. It's a bucket. It's clearly mm. a bucket that they made look like a pumpkin so that he could put it on his head. Cause, yeah, I do like head. whenever they put it on, it makes a nice squishy sound. It's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but it just has a pumpkin on his head. They're like, perfect, nobody will ever find it. And I'm like, you know what? This was a brilliant plan. I love how stupid this plan was <laughs> because they're in the middle of nowhere. Mm. They dig a two foot deep grave and bury him. Nobody ever no. fucking finds him, but they stick him on a goddamn scarecrow thing because that's a good idea. Great. Um, it, it is a fun, it's a fun, like sort of classic horror movie setup. I enjoyed how stupid it was. I was like, okay, it's dumb, but I, I, I like it. Uh, especially when they put the pumpkin on its fucking head. But they got to get out of there now because mm. they can't be around, you know, they uh, killed this guy. Oh, also, spoilers, we will never find out what happened to Floyd. How he died? No. What the fuck killed him? No. I uh, took a bat, twisted his ankle down did, the Yeah, like, did he really fall down the hill and just bust his head open and die? I guess that's what we're to think. I, I, Because I thought originally there was going to be, like, some other killer that mm. had gotten him or something. No, no, just he just died falling, I guess. I don't know. Really? Um, but they got to get out of there, but they can't. They got to find a battery because their car won't start off. Yeah, so they're just going up and down this farmhouse looking for a car battery. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, blood is dripping out of Floyd's body onto <laughs> the, the scarecrow yes. and the soil, uh, but mainly the scarecrow who's kind of like laying next yeah, the, to the, him. The, the mask of, of the, the old mask, scarecrow, yeah. yeah. And it's blood dripping on it, and we get it's very hard to parse what's happening here in I, the effects like and the, stuff. The mask is becoming like sentient, yeah, in the scarecrow. and it like fuses with the pumpkin or something because the pumpkin was just a pumpkin, yeah. But eventually, we will see revealed in all of its glory that it has turned into this horrifyingly like hilarious pumpkin face, face yes. thing. Oh, it's, so it's so funny, it's not scary <laughs> at all. It's very comical, it looks ridiculous. They have this like interesting mix of practical and cg effects of the ground yes opening up. yeah like it splits and there's like light coming out of it mm -hmm. and it's hard again it's hard to tell what's going on i think part of that's because the render or the copy on that we watched was like not the best quality yeah, so it's, and, and, and in the dark it's very hard this, to tell what's yeah, happening you get like, all kinds of artifacts this is when the shit. compressions really yeah, yeah. hurting <laughs> Yeah, uh, not ideal when you were doing a bunch of like low light stuff, but um, somehow the blood reanimates it, and there's some really cool, like you said, uh, uh, transformation effects. Um, uh, and then the scarecrow comes to life. Floyd, the scarecrow, comes to life with an axe. He finds an axe. Yeah, he, find, he finds the world's lightest axe for him to swing around. Yeah, like like it's 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 a regular axe, but he's so like supernaturally powerful. Yeah. that it's just like. Whoop. <laughs> he just whips it around, yeah. Um, uh, and then so, he, uh, and I love immediately upon getting the axe, he destroys his fucking acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck, you, fuck you, Garrick. Boom, fuck your guitar. Um, Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, and also, they're all just immediately way too chill about having just yep. watched one of their friends die and then covering it up by turning him <laughs> Man, into a human scarecrow. It really sucks that Floyd died, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess we should. You know, guys want to just like go get a drink or something. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, look, uh, I just trashed the battery and I, I feel a whole lot better now. But um, we need a new one. So uh, you guys just amuse yourselves here. I'm gonna go uh, back to the farm and see if I can find one over there. All right. <laughs> um. So uh, he 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 starts going on his killing spree now, and the first one we get, and this is my biggest disappointment, my biggest critique of this movie. This movie could have been really really good if they had done anything interesting with how he killed anybody, mm -hmm. and they nope. don't. He literally just axes. axes every person, and we get close ups of some blood, and it's just boring. Like he doesn't even axe them in interesting ways. He just chops them, and then they bleed a little bit and die. Yeah. It's so disappointing. Uh, first, he gets chases, the redhead. Yeah, yeah, chases her through the the cornfield, and she trips, which. It's just instant death. Anytime you trip in a horror oh, yeah. film, you're just fucking instantly dinosaur. dead. Yeah. 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 I just said you're fucking dinosaur. Like, dino I don't know. My brain just something. <laughs> I'll, it'll come back. We're fine. <laughs> Um, I do like when they, when they come across her body, her her face is just yes. in skull fragments. Yeah, and that's an interesting shot because I couldn't tell if it how much was practical effects and how much was CG because it mm -hmm. looked like C, like practical makeup like augmented with CG. It looked interesting at least. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, you mentioned that magazine earlier. Yes. We never talked about it. Yes. What did you it, know what I that had was? No clue what this was. It was so bizarre. So this cop and it was an earlier scene, but when he's they're going through her stuff, they find like a horror movie movie magazine it or something it's got like naked chicks in it but it's also like this psychedelic trippy it's like, like 
horror you're being movie. watched by like a psycho killer or something yeah. like that. And and another one's like shock on the farmland or whatever. Yeah. It's just like what it had to have been like a horror does this movie mean, magazine. Does this mean something? I don't No, oh no, also no, it doesn't mean anything. My thought was that it was like somebody in the movie because they are maybe effects people, some mm-hmm. of them or something. It was like one of their magazines that they put out, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And so they were like, "Oh, can you put this in there so people?" Because you do see, I think you see the cover for yeah, a like, second. Like this like, would be like, like, like a little like, like product the graphic placement. designers thing, yeah, or and, something like that, yeah. or just one of the effects people or something. They're mm-hmm. just like, "Here, put I, yo, I do this magazine. Can you put it in the movie?" And they're like, "Sure." The detective will be find it in her room or something. Fine. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe that'll get you a few more downloads on your physical. I mean, it was '96. People still were buying real magazines, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Uh, the Sears catalog still existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so there's this transition. I have to talk about this. So they finally find a battery. Our guy mm. finds a battery, and they get it back. And he goes, and he starts the car. And I have to talk about this. They get the car started, and then the scene transitions. And during the, right after that, and right during that transition, we get sound effects. And one of them, I swear to God, is a monkey in the jungle sound effect. It's yes. the... T- Cla- yes. Right? Why? Yeah. Why well, is there not only that one? There's one later where it's like a fucking elephant or something. Yeah. Like what? They what just, is going on? They- Hurry up, Eric! It's not funny. Well, here's what's going on. I know what's going on. My bet because they they had li- obviously limited budget on this whole thing, doing it all themselves. Mm. They had access to one ambient sound effect CD. <laughs> you know that collection? Yeah. It's 96. They had that whole collection of, of sound effect CDs that if you ever went to like a uh, film school in the 90s or 2000s, like you had this whole wall that was just CDs full of like sound effects oh, and Lord. music and free, you know, all yeah, that sort of the stuff. The worst part, considering it, it's, I'm pretty sure this was shot on, on a uh, tape right yeah not, Pro- like, not like film but yeah like but tape. like tape yeah um i'm pretty sure this was all just linear edited it could it have been a maybe fucking nightmare could have been i mean 96 they, they would have had access to some early non-linear editors but i don't know but the uh <laughs> so they had they probably had uh, at one point had access to a collection of like sound effects and music and stuff like that mm-hmm. but like a lot of the cds had gone missing or something yeah. people had stolen so just, them so they only like, had the jungle sound effects cd and they're like yep. So That's like, what we're using. <laughs> this kind of sounds like an owl, right? <laughs> what about this? Maybe I don't know, a mon- bear. Yeah, or like maybe like that, that monkey's like an owl. Yeah, no, it's a fucking monkey, and that's a fucking elephant. You weirdos. <laughs> It's so, I was like, and don't, if you're going to use that, don't put the the monkey sound effect in a place where nothing else is happening. It's yeah. just like, I'm just hearing a monkey right now. Okay. Um, Anyways, he gets the car started, honks the horn. Hey, people, where are you at? Yeah. They're still searching for shit. They so don't, they, he's they got to go look this? for him. Yeah, I guess they don't, I don't hear it for whatever. So he's got to go look for him. <laughs> and he's going to look for him. And I love that as he's going to search for him at one point, he's like, come on, guys, this isn't funny. Come on, guys, this isn't funny. I was like, says the guy who ostensibly just murdered one of his friends He's like trying, an hour ago. Trying to hide the corpse. <laughs> yes. I love how he's like, this isn't funny, guys. Oh, come on. Ugh. It's like, you fucking killed a guy and then turned him into a human scarecrow. Mm-hmm. How are you going to be weird about this? It's creepy, man. No, nah, no, nah, it's perfect. It'll work. It'll work fine. Um, but then Spider gets it. just an axe right to the chest right, a couple of times. Yeah, right in the chest. Uh, <laughs> again, boring because all of them are the exact mm. same. And then um, the pumpkin dude, is. every time I see him, I can't help but laugh and think of <laughs> so Dwight goofy. Schrute in the office yeah. with the pumpkin on his fucking head. <laughs> every time. It's fucking amazing. Um uh, so then we cut back and like this is the scene you're talking about where the detective just loses it and it's like shaking the other yeah, detective like, over the edge over of the, the balcony. God. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Why are they- it? It felt like there was one point where they were both like gonna look down it and be like, that's what's gonna happen to you. Yeah, but the lighting scheme didn't exactly no. help it because there's no light on the green the the younger green detective. Yeah, who on him like looking down? It's just like a hard shadow and you're just like, so he's just okay. This this yeah. Guys, totally fucked this up. <laughs> also, I just love the idea. It feels to me like this this whole scene, this whole mm-hmm. um, the part with the two detectives in the in the in the crime scene, 
feels like in a completely different movie. It's like a it's like a two man show that they were putting on at the local theater. That's like this very dramatic, <laughs> yeah. you know, like it all takes place in this one bedroom, and it's these two hard boiled cops talking about like sin and vice and the de de the degradation of humanity or whatever. And then for some reason they decided that they're like, okay, like the director saw that show at his local community theater and was like, guys, I have a brilliant idea. I need you to take this show. And we're gonna wrap it around a fucking horror movie where a guy in a pumpkin head murders a bunch of people with an axe, and they're like, "Perfect, brilliant, nailed it." It just tonally is so weird, and I don't, uh, I don't get it at all. An hour later, the kid comes to, he finds himself on that cornfield. He realizes what happened to him, and he comes back looking for revenge. Fuck, Jones, you don't give up, do ya? Um. Uh, so then we cut back, and now the pumpkin's chasing Eric around like this warehouse and stuff. Well, like, like look, right? Isn't that because like okay? So they they Sheila runs into Eric, and they're like, "Yeah, these people are dead. We need to get going. Floyd's after us." Yeah, and the uh, the cynical detective is like, "I don't want to listen to all this crap, so we're just gonna fast forward." Yeah, I guarantee you, the reason they did that was because they either couldn't finish shooting what they needed to during that filming. Oh scene, yeah. Or they they wrote themselves into a hole, and they were just like, "Are we need a reason where uh, Eric just has a gun now?" Yeah. Oh, we're not quite to that part yet, but yes, we, that that yeah, they just jump forward, and I was gonna, I was, oh, I had so many questions, like, why does he have a gun, Kyle? Where did he fucking get a gun? <laughs> oh, during the part that we fast forwarded through, I guess. Yeah. Cool. But we're we're not quite to that part yet, but it doesn't really matter. There's this, this part where he's getting chased around this like warehouse. This is before this by the pumpkin head dude, and at one point he pushes a bunch of empty cardboard boxes on the pumpkin <laughs> and he's like oh no, no. no empty my boxes. weakness empty cardboard boxes also there's this great moment where the um during that chase scene the music also terrible and ridiculous and doesn't fit at all But there's this great moment where the pumpkin hears them and he turns and the camera does like a snap zoom on his dumb <laughs> pumpkin face. It's like, <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it so much. Oh God. Um, yeah, and also they're in completely different clothes now. And this yes. is before the fast forward. This moment is still before that oh, fast forward geez. part. And they're in completely different clothes. He's wearing like a flannel shirt now, and she's mm. wearing she was wearing like a, a red jacket, and now she's wearing like a yellow, yellow sweater. Yeah. It's like what how did okay, great. Um talk about and that's not even hard continuity. That's easy ass continuity. Mm -hmm. Have your characters wear the same clothes the whole fucking time. Um uh boy. Um uh, so then they uh <laughs> they steal a truck <laughs> and they steal a truck from this guy who just yeah, pulls up pulls up to a, a, a side of the yeah, road newspaper news stand, stand pulls out a paper of course leaves his keys in the vehicle and starts reading it at like three in the morning yeah. on, like what is he what are you doing you weirdo and i love they steal the truck but we get like a comedy gag out of it because yeah, yeah that makes sense they're they'd totally be like haha we just turned one of our friends into a scarecrow and our other two friends have been murdered with an axe he -he. like it's so <laughs> stupid uh, uh, they drive off and we get a full like cg scene of this yes. truck driving yeah it's, it, and that looks okay like mm. there's some of those moments where like when it's a like it's like this aerial shot of the truck driving you know whatever and it looks okay the camera kind of pushing in slowly uh when they keep things vague and far away it looks all right um i mean it still looks like a 90s video yeah. game but it looks fine you know um and then so now ostensibly they've driven a hundreds of miles if not you know like 50 60 miles and then all of a sudden the pumpkin is in the truck of the bed yes or the bed of the truck what out of nowhere. What? Has he been there the whole time? I Can guess the pumpkin so. teleport, Kyle? Who knows? Maybe he got pumpkin chugged. Chunkin. Remember <laughs> pu chunkin, pumpkin, chunkin, chunkin, pumpkin, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that show where they he would got shoot trebuchet yeah. into it. Yeah. They got trebuchet, loaded himself into a trebuchet, got launched into their fucking bed of their truck. Superior level to the trebuchet. <laughs> That would actually be really awesome if he got cannon fired into the fucking truck from, you know, 100 miles away. But uh, Eric's like, get out of here. And then Sheila's just gone. Yes. She out of the truck, runs Disappears, off, and she's gone. gone. And then this is where we get the, uh, let's just fast forward to the end. Because, again, the whole subplot with the cops is that one of them is like, this is suicide, this is stupid. And the other one's like, no, we got to gotta finish listening. I think she was murdered or whatever. And so they're like, they're, and he's like, fine, I'm, but I'm fast forwarding to the end. Okay, but I'm not running all this shit. What are you doing? Fast forwarding to the end. Hammond. <laughs> 
Um, and then they uh, we get to the end, and again, the music in this whole... He gets into this house. And aban- he's, yeah, just abandoned home. And the music is ridiculous. It makes no sense. It's so silly. <laughs> Um, but then he just starts comically beating up the pumpkin guy at one point. At one point, he gets like they get into close range and he starts like punching him and shit and just like beating him up. <laughs> and then he gets a gun yeah. out of fucking nowhere. nowhere. Just has a gun now nowhere. because and just sure, why not? Fires three rounds into him. Well, we get these nice holes. Yeah. That was kind of fun, like, because he's backlit, like, he's in this mm-hmm. doorway, and so all this light's spilling in behind him, and then he shoots him, and as he shoots him, the holes, cr- so you can see the light from the doorway through the holes, it's fun, like, it looks okay, um, but then he gets into a bathroom and hides, yes. and then it turns into The Shining for 45 seconds, <laughs> yes. it's, it's literally just The Shining. He's, he, I, he, so he, he light, he's lighting a match, so he has some, like, visual cue, like, how many rounds he has left? Yeah, and, and meanwhile, Pumpkin's chopping through the door like Jack here's Torrance. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's Pumpkin. Um, uh, he gets in there, and Kurt, uh, Kurt, Eric, what was he? Yeah, uh, Eric, Eric. Eric just lights a match and throws on him, and that's it. He just catches fire. Yeah. He just instantly bursts into flames for no, like, he takes a match, and it's just like, it's like it was doused in you know, gasoline at some point. Little, how about a little fire scarecrow? Also, but he's not stuffed with straw anymore. It would make more sense. Yes. I don't know that reference. Is that what's that reference? Wizard of Oz. How about a little fire scarecrow? Oh, oh, oh. How about a little fire scarecrow? Yes. The way you said it, I think, is what threw. My... Okay. <laughs> Your delivery was so like one note. I don't know what 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 moment that's is that? The evil witch. Yes. Right, yeah. That's... Okay, I remember now. It's been a long time since I've seen Wizard of Oz. Kind of like one of the most. Well-known films of all time. Yes, but not every line in it is an absolute <laughs> banger, Kyle. And I would argue right. that "How about a little fire, Scarecrow?" is not one of the more well-known lines in *The Wizard of Oz*. <laughs> also, I just didn't. I forgot. It's been a while since <laughs> I've seen it. So. But he bursts in the flame, yeah. and then we get this the CG fire <laughs> that is motion tracked to him the entire yeah, time yeah. and it's so awkward it's so amazing uh and he catches fire and then so our guy runs and the house just starts exploding yes. and there's these great composite shots it's of so him ridiculous. running and he's covering his face and i think it's because it's a different actor doing this mm. like and so he's like oh look i'm the same guy oh no it looks so stupid you think the actor was just like i i, I don't see this project going anywhere no. so i'm out of here yeah i think absolutely that was like the director or something who just wanted to finish it was like i'll just run in front of the green screen and cover my face so nobody knows it's not the right guy Ah! um and then the whole ending we we see a truck drive off yes all cg kyle this is the part where i was talking about where it's like why is a truck pulling up on a road turning and driving away entirely cg just do you that take that's so easy you just need a truck and a road and most of this movie has been filmed on a road i don't uh, whatever it's so i don't know why that's all cg but sure yep. um and he gets away but then we cut back to the police at the uh at the crime scene and they're like um they the guy the the white shirt cop who's the cynical one is like nah it was it was a suicide and the last thing they hear on the tape is her saying help me somebody help me look on the bright side jonesy our job's finished here. Eric, is that you? Get away from me. Somebody help. Ah! And it's like, why would you think yes. that means it's a suicide? Because that does he's not sound like a suicide. drugs, man. <laughs> Doesn't sound anything like a suicide. Um, she even admitted to smoking the reefer. It's true, she did. Um, but they uh they as they're leaving, he finds a, a corn like a thing it, 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 from a corn yeah, or like, like hay or whatever. A, end of a stock or something like that. Yeah. And he's like, What's this? Um and then Kyle, the last shot of this movie is absolute masterpiece. It's I don't know whose idea this was, but they win. They it win. Is the scarecrow on a motorcycle. <laughs> on a motorcycle. Complete CG everything. Complete CG. He is driving on a highway. Yeah. Did you see the sign? No. He's right. One of them is like Hell's Point or something like that. Classic. And it, sa- it says uh, exit one mile and it says abandon all hope. <laughs> 
I was hoping it was going to say exit 666 miles, but um, yeah. It's, and then he does a fucking wheelie, Kyle. He's yes. like, <laughs> and this pumpkin headed scarecrow wheelies down the highway. And then the movie ends. It's fucking amazing. That ending shot it's, it almost won me nuts. over because it's so ridiculous. That's, uh, I, was, we were, I was going through this like, right, the beginning is just a CGI just yeah monstrosity yes. yeah and, and then as we were going as i was going through i was like all right this is like just kind of generic in ways yeah and then the last kind of five minutes are just fucking insane <laughs> that fucking wheelie scarecrow pumpkin head motherfucker <laughs> fantastic i don't know what i would give this one overall because it's the middle parts are fairly boring yeah like, and generic the thing that would i'm gonna say bad bad yes. but barely Barely. And the thing that would have really put it over is if the kills had been cool and wild and mm-hmm. gory. Like, if when all, all the people got killed, if we had had, like, heads rolling and nonsense and stuff, but, nah. It's just, uh, I got stabbed uh, by an yeah, axe. Def- definitely bad, bad. Uh, it, it, se- it, it was an interesting idea, considering yeah. the people who made it. Yeah. And, like I said, like, for as early as this was, there's certain parts of it that worked pretty well. Yeah. There's certain parts of it that didn't. Not at all. It's, it's real mediocre, I think, is the, the ultimate... Uh, words? What? Uh, anyways, you can, <laughs> you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash gbrbb support us there for uh, however much a month. We're recording as soon as this is done a, a bonus podcast. It's been a while, but we've been pretty busy. Yes. We're going to record a bonus podcast where we're talking about our trip to Arizona. Uh, we posted stuff on Facebook and, and, and on social media while we were there. Um, we're going to go into some of the details, maybe not all the details on this podcast, but we're going to go into a lot of the details and talk about what we were doing there, what we saw, who we met, um, all that kind of stuff. So if you want a, a little bit about that, um, you can go support us for at least, I think, two bucks gets you access, uh, two bucks a month gets you access to everything. Um, so do that, uh, and you can sh- check out that podcast and 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 listen to our, our discussion on our visit to the Pocket Man and Cargo Boy 3. <laughs> you look to our adventures. Our adventures. Pocket Man and Cargo, and Cargo Boy. Boy. Cargo Boy 3. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, 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 T Public. Kyle, you're what? wearing the merch. Represent. I am not. I'm wearing different merch. Human Blood Drive. Did you see this video? No. I'll just show you this. I made a video. Nice. Anyways. Um, uh, donate blood. Uh, they need blood right now. So if you can, if you can donate was a blood. Vampire thing. It is kind of. Oh, I'll okay. tell you about it. But it is. But it's also for blood. Donate blood. It's a good thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the. Uh, uh, keep public. You can buy our merch, all that sort of shit. Uh, I podcast all this film is late. We're talking about movies that are based on books. When this episode is out, the most recent episode will have been uh, Psycho. Still, yes, uh, we did Psycho, nineteen sixty. Nice. I like that. We did the remake with uh, <laughs> Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Vince Vaughn, yes. the shot for shot. No, we did the original. Um, great fucking film. Anthony Perkins, um, not not nominated for anything it's in insane. that. Wild. His performance is incredible in that mm-hmm. movie. It's ridiculous. Um, Wouldn't even hurt a fly. Yeah, the whole his uh, his performance the, in the early part of that movie blew my mind. It's so ahead of its time. Anyways, doesn't matter. You can listen to me talk about uh, me and Katie talk about Psycho on our podcast. Um, that's it. Twitch. Twitch. Oh, twitch.tv slash uh, GBRBB underscore Kyle and Brian on the I screen. Did it not too long ago. Brian, Brian needs to do Katie and I have been talking about this. We're going to do one soon. It's been a while. We're going to do, we want to do a cooking stream. We also want to do just a normal game stream and stuff and play some games. We just, it's been, it's been hectic. It's a busy end of the year for me uh, for all of us. So yes. um, it's been a little tough, but it will be happening. Yes. Uh, and that's going to do it for this episode. Good, better, bad, bad. Till next time. Keep watching movies. Maybe not. Psycho it's also hard Scarecrow. to find. So it's on YouTube. It is on YouTube. It's a real bad quality. <laughs> yes, <laughs> real, real bad quality. Maybe not Psycho Scarecrow. Just watch the last ten seconds when that <laughs> yes. fucking pumpkin. Ring. Kyle, I need the just. The, that's the the end of this. Is the last shot. I just need pumpkin wheelie and go. Oh.